Hi, it's New Year's Day and I'm in the office today. Um, I just wanted to go over using VAs with uh, OneNote. It, OneNote is something I'm going to go over today and show a few key things that you can do with it, but also I wanted to sort of put things in perspective and what you can do with it with a VA because I know some people, um, they talk about task-based virtual assistants. Now, I'm not a task-based person in the sense that I could send one email a day because there's always something I need them to do later on in the day and I find um, I prefer things on the fly. Although I'll do a task list for the day, um, I don't send an email, I use OneNote and I can add new tasks to it all day long or uh, say, you know, leave notes, call doctor, or, you know, book me an appointment for the, the uh, barbers, whatever. Because the interaction is important, um, which is why I think OneNote is an ideal tool for using with the VAs. Um, like these videos, for example, I'm not doing it yet, um, because I've had guys in training for the last couple of weeks um, learning some new software. I apologize for the noise, but some motorbikes coming past. Um, but like, if, if you imagine the, the these are uh, some of the VAs we have here. Uh, Mark normally sits here. Mark Mark normally does video editing, um, uh, graphics work, and um, drawings. That you know, he does plans that sort of thing. So he doesn't actually do things like blog writing or things, he's more on the artistic side of things. So he's actually got his own folder on my uh, OneNote where his tasks are actually sent to him daily. Um, because his tasks are specific to him because the guy over here is, uh, obviously not here, but um, this is MJ. MJ does transcription and uh, blog posts. So they're completely different people, and they have completely different tasks. Um, uh, MJ will do transcription in the morning, and he'll do some blog posts in the afternoon, but also he'll be working on uh, new stuff that I want him to do. Uh, for example, I might get him to do a tutorial for an hour or something on a task that he hasn't done before. Um, because I'm constantly trying to build up the team here to be able to do those tasks. Um, over here, uh, in the next seat, is Eileen. Eileen, um, Eileen is like um, an office manager, programmer, and that sort of thing for me. Uh, she does a fair bit when April's not here, my wife. Um, so Eileen will do transcription as well in the morning um, if she hasn't got other tasks to do. But Eileen does a lot of the blog writing, emails, um, and generally looking for new contracts. Um, so Eileen has her own little folder, as long as the same as MJ and Mark. Now the other thing with that is I have April over here, my wife, who isn't actually here either. Um, April manages everything here, but she doesn't always need to be here. Um, because we have two young kids, um, I try and encourage April not to do too much and try and pass the work on to Eileen to do. Um, but my wife likes doing things like transcription and, for example, if we're um, doing something new, me and April will work on it because of the issues you have between our nationalities. Um, something makes sense to me and very easy to follow, but it can be difficult um, culturally uh, for Filipinos if they don't understand what you're talking about because of the culture difference. doesn't mean they don't know what they're doing, doesn't mean that they don't understand, it just means um, what you've said to them doesn't mean the same as it would to another Westerner, it just needs some familiarity. So the easiest thing to do with that uh, sort of problem is me and my wife go over those sort of issues. These are the sort of things you will come across if you're using VAs because um, what frustrates me most is that people are so ignorant on VAs. Um, what I mean is it can be quite abusive on them as if, oh, they're crap, they don't know what they're doing, blah, blah, blah. A lot of it is just the issues of conversions, um, what you said to what they understand. Um, you need to be very specific. Um, you need to let them, give them leeway where 
you want them to have leeway um, because a lot of time they won't use it because they're they assume you're not wanting them to think for themselves. So, for example, I might go to Eileen, um, do me a blog post on uh, carpentry. So when she finishes that, she might just sit there. No, she won't because she, um, cause she knows she she works for me. She doesn't work have that mentality. But the reality is somebody might do that if they're working for you. Because if you allocate them four hours to do a task, um, it's very likely they will use the four hours um, unless you're very specific. I've had guys before say, oh, I'll design a website for you. It'll take me a week, and when it comes back, it says, well, I could do that in an hour. Um, what have you actually done? Um, is it their fault or is it mine? Um, a bit of both. They, they think they can get away with something. Um, they just downloaded it off the web and changed a few icons. And me, because I should have been very specific on what I requested. Because um, the big thing with the VA is they're supposed to be saving you time, not making uh, more headaches for you. So this is why I recommend if you're getting a VA, is to not ditch them because they, you don't think you're getting the, the work you asked for, but sit and analyze what you asked them to do because the problem may not um, be them lazy, may not be that they um, didn't want to do the work, it could be that they just didn't understand um, because what you requested is not the same as what they could do um, or think they could do. Um, as you can hear, doors wide open. I've got the uh, people passing around uh, for New Year's Eve. Um, well, New Year's Day. Um, the everyone's going for lunch, I suppose. But as you can see, we've got a fair bit of space here. Um, this is one of our rooms. We have several of these. Um, but. Because we, we do inbound, outbound sales, and also the um, virtual assistant tasks, but we're moving more to VAs because I I like to be um, on the VA side because I like to be more involved with things like the help desk services and um, facilities management, asset management, and things that I do with my own career, um, and I can see this being partly. Uh, something we could do more of here um, as the skill base develops. Because the big problem with uh, facilities and asset management is often the cost of administration. Buildings cost a fortune in the UK. Um, and if you're working on a budget um, that's pretty tight, um, we could actually do the work here um, at a, a fraction of the cost, but also it's going to be to the same standard you're expecting in the UK because I set up these contracts in the UK and other countries because I do asset uh, surveying myself but I also come from facilities management, been in it for about 20 years. Um, also asset management is something that I'm progressively getting more and more into. Um, I'm going to be busy on that for the next few months uh, because I'm developing my skill base for asset management. Um, to, to get the overlap between asset management and facilities management. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to talk about OneNote. Uh, I've gone on a bit, as usual. Um, but the, the thing with OneNote, like I'm trying to say here, is you have it on your tab or your laptop, or in my case, on my laptop, my desktop, and my tabs. We have two tabs. Also, April's got her uh, Samsung Note. So April's got her uh, OneNote with her all the time. Your VAs, they all have their own OneNotes, um, separate separate accounts, but also they have a shared notebook um, for, for me. And obviously, if you did the same, it would be with you. So that you can sit there over lunch and go, you know what, I need, I need this done. And you can put it in your OneNote, sync it, and it will come straight to the guys, whoever needs it. Um, the same as they've got a shared account, which is the work where nobody's going to have to do the, the, go and, uh, the routine tasks. So, um, what else can I say on that? Well, the first thing is, well, probably the last thing, because the video's getting quite long. Um, I would say is, with the VAs, a lot of time people aren't looking to get a VA because they, they haven't seen the value in them. 
Um, when I say I haven't seen the value, they just um, haven't understood the concept completely to where you can actually use a VA. Um, for example, you don't need a VA full time. Um, some people do, and, and to be honest, progressively building up to a full time VA is probably the um, the end goal for an individual. Um, because it's all about gaining your time back and there's a lot of stuff that I've had before where I, I mean I'm doing it now at the moment with some websites I used to spend hours doing stuff that now I just go you know what uh, Eileen can you finish installing that site and then move over the data from an old site to it I don't do it anymore uh, I'm, I mean I hit 40 this year um, and I gained a few what, a few pounds this year uh, well sorry last year I gained a few pounds 2014 uh, 2013 because my focus was on developing this business now my focus is going back to um, my UK business but also my focus on myself and my family which you'll probably notice over the next um, three to six months that I actually look a bit healthier because I've actually got some time now. Uh, obviously, I've got a full team here, uh, which are now managing stuff I used to do myself. Um, I mean, that's the odd thing. You think what I used to do myself has been partially replaced by adding another four people. And it's not that they do it any slower than me. It's the fact is that a lot of the stuff I do instantly, it's, you know, because it's... Um, stuff I've done over time so I mean I'm over familiar with a lot of things but at the same time these guys are doing a good job and the cost effective um, I'm pretty expensive when I'm working uh, where these guys are a fraction of what I would cost so them handling some of my tasks is, is actually cost effective for any of the businesses I work with anyway um, I'll cut this off, it's now 12 minutes long, and I just wanted to say the video qualities are going to improve over the next uh, few weeks because once the guys get back, uh, I've actually spent this morning uh, looking at some video software um, to help with developing these videos. Um, but also, um, when I started doing this, it was a bit of an experiment to see how, see how things develop, also helped me with my speech. Obviously I've still got all that spluttering and stuttering going on because it's all on the fly rather than scripted. But ultimately things are progressively getting better on the videos that we create and also um, the information we're sharing. Um, but I just wanted to show, th this is our office, our, this is one of our pods. Um, we have three this size on the lower floor and the upper floor is ready for renovations. But yeah, um, OneNote, highly recommend, and it looks like I'm going to have to create a second video <laughs> for the, the OneNote on how to use it. But this is how I would use it with um, a VA, and I'll explain more on the next tutorial because this video is too long to add another 20 minutes to it. So watch the video, next video on what to do with OneNote. Okay, thank you.